Mondays. I have got a serious case of the Monday. Y'all ready for the big show? I hate Mondays. I don't work Mondays. Say what? Talk about a case of the Monday. Listen, I say we don't air this show. What, what are you talking about? As they say in Hollywood, the show must go on. It's Monday Madness. This is the show for you. Let's go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Bruce Springsteen said he was the greatest pure rock and roll writer who ever lived. Mick Jagger said he lit up our teenage years and blew life into our dreams of being musicians and performers. Chuck Berry passed away Saturday at his home in Missouri after a seven-decade career. He was 90. Seen as one of the fathers of rock and roll, he influenced generations of succeeding musicians, most notably the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and the Beach Boys. Rest in peace, Chuck Berry. Saturday Night Live announced its final four hosts for season 42 on the weekend, and there's one in particular who stands out. Melissa McCarthy, the world's greatest Sean Spicer impersonator, is scheduled to host the show May 13th. The other three hosts will be Jimmy Fallon on April 15th, Chris Pine on May 6th, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who will close out the season on May 20th. With the final four episodes, NSL will be doing something it's never done before before, airing the shows live across the country. The episodes will air at 11.30 on the East Coast, 10.30 Central Time, 9.30 Mountain Time, and at 8.30 on the West Coast. For those living in Mountain or Pacific Time, the episodes will air once again at their regularly scheduled 11.30 p.m. slot. Beauty and the Beast opened in theaters this weekend, and it has a hidden meaning that will make you see the story in a whole different light. In theaters today, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, an enchanting tale of love, discovery, and inspiration. Sure, as any discerning adult quickly recognizes, it's actually about a woman that discovers the wonders of hallucinogenic mushrooms. How else to explain why a beautiful, intelligent female would willfully enter a neglected castle and allow herself to become a concubine of a horrifying man-beast with talking furniture? Because when you're sober, candlesticks don't sing, clocks don't dance, teapots don't offer relationship advice. But with the help of mind-bending psychotics, inanimate objects not only come to life, but help you become a princess. Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Your child's introduction to the magic of nature's mystical reality-altering fungi. Hey, they can either learn now or in college. Yes, Beauty and the Beast is doing well at the box office. It's the story of a beautiful woman from a small village who falls for a selfish, disgusting monster who lives in a palace filled with gold. Melania Trump is calling it the feel-good movie of the year. Press Secretary Sean Spicer said President Trump's use of wiretapping was meant to mean broad surveillance. So does that mean cameras were in Melania's shower? President Trump's budget proposal calls for eliminating Meals on Wheels. Well, that's a fine way for him to treat a friend like Gary Busey. March Madness is underway. That's right, President Trump released his new budget Friday. New research shows Islam is the world's fastest growing religion. And that loud boom you just heard was Steve Bannon's head exploding. Carleton University in Ottawa removed the scale from its health center because it triggered body image issues. Another way students could avoid the scale's trigger effect is by not stepping on it. Madonna is looking for a new personal trainer. His age should not be much higher than his penis size. Other than that, pretty much everything is negotiable. Meanwhile, Madonna is dating a guy in his 20s. Yeah, but it's not what you think. Unless, of course, you think she wants to crack open his spine and suck the lifeblood out of his soul. Have you seen that video of Prince William dancing? People have gotten thrown off airplanes for making moves like that. Queen Latifah turned 47 on Saturday. She's not really a queen, the same way as Dr. Dre isn't really a doctor, and comedian Dane Cook isn't really a comedian. Time for Nobody Gives a f Amazon may be opening a brick and mortar bookstore in Los Angeles. And in order to stay authentic to the Amazon experience, they'll let you shop in your underwear. Hey, Amazon, nobody gives a f 
Eric Estrada turned 68 yesterday. His character on Chips was called Punch, which is also now the first thing you notice on him. Hey, beer guts. Nobody gives a f and Victoria's Secret models gathered on Miami Beach in lace swimwear. No, no, not for a photo shoot. It was Leonardo DiCaprio's annual picking of a girlfriend. Hey, supermodels, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests including the legendary Phil Esposito, Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.